Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. We're going to climb the ladder to greatness. And we'll be climbing today. And I'm going to show you how to reach the top. And so, during the message, when I get to my point number one, I have a champion here already. I have an achiever here already. I have a conqueror here already. I have a director manager here already. And I have the governor of a whole state here, here already. And who knows, who knows over there, I may have a president of the country here already. Amen. And we're going to be climbing one, two, three, tell me now, four, tell me. We are climbing together. I said we are climbing together. I want to show you how to succeed. What to do. How to climb the ladder of greatness. Are you ready? Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for every child of God here, every boy, every girl, every brother, every sister. Lord, we're leaving failure behind. We're leaving mediocrity behind. We're leaving poverty behind. This is our time. It's our time to climb up. And we're going to climb up all the steps to the success you have given us in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that today, all the talent that is needed, all the brain power that is needed, all the intelligence that is needed, all the courage that is needed for us to climb to the top, you give to every boy, every girl, every father, every mother here in Jesus' name. Take your children to the top. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. As we look at the word of God today, we're looking at the subject, youths on the ladder of greatness in Genesis chapter 28. Genesis chapter 28, verse 12. Here in verse 12, it talks about the ladder and he dreamt and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it here we have the verse that talks to us about the ladder. As you can see the ladder, the ladder is standing and is pointing upward. And it has steps. And through those steps, we climb up. But it's telling us that angels are our companions as we climb up. Because those angels, they are ascending with us and they are descending to meet us, to support us, to encourage us, to empower us, to enable us so that 
We will climb and you will climb. We're getting to the top in Jesus' name. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 12. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 12. Both riches and honor come of thee. The riches you will have, the reward you will have, the honor you will have, the exaltation you will have will come from the Lord. And thou reignest over all, and in thine hand is power and might. And in thine hand it is to make great. God is going to make you great. And then it says, and to give strength unto all many, unto all. Thank God you are counted among the number. I said, heaven has counted you among the number. As we look at you, youths, on the ladder of greatness, there are three points. Number one. The steps on the ladder. The steps on the ladder. As you look at my ladder here, and you look at my champion achiever that is standing, we're getting ready to climb. Will you climb with us? Now we have steps on the ladder. Champion, why don't you put your leg on the first step? Wonderful. That's where we start. We have to start in number one. Nobody ever starts in class three. You have to start number one. Champion, can you go to number two? We're making progress. That's how we do it. Just one step at a time. One, two. We're still going. I said we're still going. Why don't you make progress? Three, great, great. And I'm telling you, it doesn't take any sweating. It doesn't take any much effort. Just be yourself. Just relax. And then you're climbing and climbing and climbing. You're climbing. I said you're climbing. Well, because I am going to treat all the points, relax, go on holidays now. You know, when we finish class one, they give us holiday. Now you can go and relax, and then you come back, and then you come to number two, and then after that you go back on holidays on vacation, and then you go number three, and you go on vacation, and by the time you take first vacation, second vacation, third vacation, you are there already. I said, you are there already. How many points do I have? How do you know? You are spying my note. You know I'm always one, two, number three. Three points, now number one. Number one, the steps on the ladder. Number one, the steps on the ladder. Number two, the stops on the ladder. Step, stop. Step, stop. The stops on the ladder. Number three, the strength on the ladder. What keeps you going? What energizes you? What empowers you? What enables you? What equips you? The stress on the ladder. Number one, the steps. Number two, the stops. Number three, the stress. Give me number one. The steps on the ladder. We're looking at Psalm 37. Psalm 37. And I'm reading from verse 23. Psalm 37. 
Verse 23. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his ways. In his way. The steps of a good man. The steps of a good man. They are ordered by the Lord. Do you know that every step we ought to take to get to the top, to achieve greatness, to possess a possession, every step you ought to take, they are ordered, they are ordained by the Lord. And then God, as you put your legs on one and two and three, and you're moving on, He delights in your way. When you want to go to the top, and you want to make it, you want to be great, what steps do you follow? One, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Why? God created you. God knows you. God planned for you before you were born. Listen. Daddy and mommy, before you were born, and they knew you were coming, mommy was pregnant, and mommy was expecting you. And so she said, this is where the boy, the girl, will stay. And this is the court, and this is the bed. And this is the clothes that she will wear. Mommy and daddy prepared before you are born. Don't you know then God, who is a wiser father, a richer father, and God that takes care of us, and he knew we were coming into the world, he brought you into the world. Before he brought you, he prepared for you, he planned for you. He said, this is a great point you will reach. And so as you are born, and now you want to go to that great point, number one then, seek the Lord. Lord, what do you have for me? What do you want me to be? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to reach? Seek the Lord. Number two, set the limits. Set the limits. You will say, I'm setting the limit. That's where I'm going to reach. I'm now in JS one, that's not the limit. I'm still moving. I'm going to go to just two and just three, and I will not stop. I'm going to go to SSS one, I will not stop, and two and three, I will not stop. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to get to university. I'm going to graduate. I'm not through yet. I'm going to have my youth service. I'm not through yet. I'm going to be here. You seek the Lord, you search the limits. You know, if there is no goalpost, football is not interesting anymore. What makes football as a game interesting is because there's a goal, there's a goalpost, and that limit is the goal. You must search the goal, search the limits. Number three. Strengthen your life. Strengthen your life. Somebody who is climbing the ladder, if you don't sleep at the right time, if you don't wake up at the right time, if you don't eat at the right time, if you don't play at the right time, if you don't exercise at the right time, if you don't socialize, interact with your brothers and sisters, with your friends at the right time, you will not be strong. You'll be weak. You'll be sleepy when you ought to be in class studying. But when everything is done at the right time, because of the goal you have, you're strengthening your life. Strengthen your life. Number four, study and learn. 
study and learn. Anybody wanting to reach the top must study. And it is not just study. You must learn. How do you learn? You must make sure you remember what you are studying. It is not just, I am reading, I am reading, I am reading. Do I remember what I read? Can I write what I read? Can I recite what I read? Can I reveal what I read? You read. You write. You can recite. You can give it back to me, what you're learning. You can reveal. You look at it again. And then when the exam comes, you can reveal what you have read, what you have studied. You study and you learn. That's how to get to greatness. Number one, seek the Lord. Number two, tell me. Number three. Number four. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. Number five, look number five. Sean laziness. Everybody say, Sean laziness. Laziness will not be my friend. Laziness will not be my friend. I told laziness long ago. I said, it's enough. No more play with toys. I told laziness long ago. Goodbye. No more lying down all the day. I told laziness long ago. Don't let me see your face near me. My book is there. My dictionary is there. My encyclopedia is there. My computer is there. The internet is there. Laziness, get out of my sight today and never come, be, come, never come back again. I told laziness, I'm not your friend, you are not my friend. Get out of my sight, laziness. We will not be together. Number five, Sean, laziness. Let's look at Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6. I'm reading from verse 6. Go to the ant. Thou sluggard, consider a ways and be wise, which have been no guide, overseer, or ruler, provided her meat in the summer, and gathereth her food in the harvest. How long will thou sleep, O slugger, lazy, indolent boy, girl? When will thou arise out of thy sleep? Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty and failure on the feet come as one that travels. And I want as an armed man. You see what he's telling us? He says, go to thee. Tell me. Tell me. And thou sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. The ants. Ants. Can you write that word? Ants. Ants. Put an S at the end of it. Ants. What do I know about the ants? Have you seen ants before? I said, have you seen ants before? Have you found any ant any time just staying there? Five minutes, ten minutes, thirty minutes? One hour, the ant is still there. Have you seen that before? And A, activity. A, activity, activity, activity. That's the life of the ant. And you know that ant, you know what they do? They don't have anybody to push them. Go and do your homework. Go and carry the grain. Get up and go and bring food. Get up and go and gather this together. 
No, they take initiative, initiative, write down activity with initiative. Activity with initiative. Daddy doesn't have to beat you before you stand up and go and do your homework. Mommy doesn't have to shout on you, scream on you before you get up and you do your homework. And the teacher doesn't have to threaten you before you stand up and do your work. Activity was initiative. N, N, nobility of integrity. Nobility of integrity. What I mean by that is, do you know something? Ants have integrity. And ants will never steal food from another ant. Never. Ants will never struggle and fight with another ant over food. They go to take their own food. They never eat stolen food, stolen meat. Never. The ants on their own, they have self-reliance, self-dependence. They say, no, I'm not going to eat stolen food. I'm not going to take stolen meat. They go out themselves and they get what they're going to eat. They have the nobility of integrity. T, tenacity. Tenacity in industry. Those ants, they never, never, never give up. They never give up. They never give up. Tenacity in industry. And then S, steadfastness with intelligence. Steadfastness with intelligence. You know something? Let's say, look up here a moment. Can you look up here a moment? Let's say a, an ant is going this way and then you put a stick in front of that ant. What will the ant do? Will the ant stay there and be crying? Will the ant stay there and be saying, please now, please now, let me pass. Will the ant say that? What will the ant do? The ant says, if there is no way here, there is a way there. Well, turn and the ant is never bothered about the long distance. Never. The ant will just leave you and your stick and go this way and then come back and go where he wants to go. I love that. Steadfastness with intelligence. The intelligence. And that's what the Lord is saying. Go to the ants and learn. Learn activity with initiative. Learn nobility with integrity. Learn tenacity with in industry. And learn steadfastness with intelligence. Number one, seek the Lord. Number two, set the limits. Number three, Number four, number five, number six, stretch, stretch, stretch the limits, stretch the limits. When you started your thought, I will just go to poly, polytechnic and stop. I will just go to this institute and stop. That was the limit you set in number two. But now you're warming up. Now you're making progress. Now you're getting some certificate. Now it, it appears you're getting into it right now. And you say, the limit I set before, that was too low. Now I stretch the limits. You will stretch your limit. By the time you get here, you plan to go higher, to become greater, a greater champion. And greater success will come into your life in Jesus' name. Number seven, number seven, shine as light. Shine as light. 
As you're moving on and moving on and you're climbing the steps, you also make sure that your Christian life is going along with you and you're shining as light. The steps on the ladder. What's the next thing now? I said, what's the next thing? The stops on the ladder. The stops on the ladder. We're now coming to point number two. Point number two. Or uh, the stops on the ladder. Look up again. Our champion is going to climb. Our champion is going to climb. Champion one, two, three. Stop. Just stay there. You know, sometimes, apart from going on vacation, sometimes, 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 some things happen. We're going to school. All of a sudden, they announced in the school. And they said, all those of you that have not paid school fees, report in the principal's office. The studies are going on, the classes are going on, the lectures are going on. Now they call my name and they said, I'm one of those people. Daddy has not paid school fees. Mommy has not paid school fees. We show up in the, in the principal's office and the principal came out. There's no smile on his face and he frowns. And he says, students, I'm sorry to tell you this. If every parent does not pay the school fees like your daddy, your mommy have not paid, how are we going to run the school? Go back home. You try to plead. Some of you cry. Some of you say, please, please, give us a chance. Says, no. Go back home. You're stuck. Now you're back home. Sometimes, you know, mommy is sick. And as mommy is sick, nobody to take care of mommy. And instead of going to school, mommy says, my daughter, are you going? Who will cook for me? Who will do this? Who will do that? You are forced to stop. Sometimes, family is having accommodation problem. And the landlord came, he scatters the load of everybody. Get out of here. You don't have a job. Am I the one to suffer for that? And therefore, your loads are here and there. That day you couldn't go to school, you stop. Sometimes you're sick. And the sickness now is hindering you from going to school. The stop. The stop on the ladder. And because these are practical, practical things that happen, I want you to understand that as we're climbing, if any time comes in your life when there is a stop on the ladder, don't give up. You will still succeed in Jesus' name. That's why we're looking at Proverbs chapter 13. Champion, please stay on the ladder. I'll be coming back to you. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. Hope deferred maketh the heart sick. You know, sometimes like that, when there is a stop, there is a stop on the ladder, and you cannot move on. It's like your hope, your future is being deferred. You're unhappy. You are sad. I want to tell you, whenever there's any stop on the ladder, something has happened, that now you cannot move on. Don't lose the ground you have gained. Don't lose the ground you have gained. If you cannot move forward for one moment, if you cannot move forward for one day, 
don't go back. Don't lose the ground you have gained. Stay there. Help will come from heaven. Help will come from on high. Energy and strength and power will come to you again in Jesus' name. What are the things that bring stopping on the ladder? Number one, disappointment. Disappointment, disappointment. It comes, it comes, it comes. Somebody promised to pay and cannot pay. Somebody promised to help and did not help. Somebody said, I'll buy you the uniform, he cannot buy it. Somebody said, I'll be bringing the school fees, he didn't bring it. Disappointment. Number two, delay or denial. Delay or denial. I want to get you to university this year. And the cut off mark. I missed it just by three points. How can this be? Delay or denial. That's what makes us stop sometimes. Number three, distress. I'm just tired. I don't feel like going on. Distress, distress, distress. No stress, no energy. I used to be bubbling and excited. I'm not excited anymore. I'm tired. Just stop there and rest. Energy will come tomorrow. I say that you will come again. Number four, discouragement. Discouragement. That is the greatest tool in the hand of the devil. How do you think you're moving on? What do you want to do again? Discouragement. Discouragement. But, thank God, the cloud will soon pass away. The darkness will soon pass away. And all those things that stop you on the way, everything will soon pass away in Jesus' name. Number five, disease. Disease. When that disease comes, a little headache, and now it's becoming more serious, I'm sweating. It's becoming more serious. It's affecting my chest. It's becoming more serious. My legs cannot hold me up anymore. It's becoming more serious. I do not have appetite to eat. It's becoming serious. I cannot sleep at night. Stop. That thing stops us. But it's just for a moment I will get up. I said, I will get her. I said, I will get her. This is not the end. This is not the final scene. Even though I have stopped for a moment because of disease. But thank God, thank God. I said, everybody, thank God. We're getting up. I said, we're getting up. Number six, demons. Demons. And you know, sometimes some of these demons, they don't know who they're looking for. They go, they knock on that place, they knock on that place, they knock on that place, and they knock on your door. And you didn't know. And then you open the door. By the time you realize what you have opened the door to, there is affliction. And there is attack. But just wait at the end of this message. I'll drive all of them away from you. And then number seven, doubts. Doubts. That's serious. That's serious. That is serious. The moment you begin to doubt yourself, can I pass again? Can I succeed again? Will I ever make it again? Am I not totally and permanently defeated? Am I not crushed beyond recovery? Doubt. But thank God you will overcome. I said you will overcome. 
How do you overcome? How do you overcome? How do you overcome? Second Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. And I'm reading there in verse 16. For this cause we faint not. Everybody say, we faint not. Tell me out loud, we faint not. Now make it personal. I faint not. Why? Look at verse 18. While we look not at things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. It says, I will not look at them. I will not look at them. I will not look at disappointment. I'm moving on. I will not look at delay or denial. I am moving on. I will not look at distress. I am moving on. I will not look at discouragement. I am moving on. I will not look at disease. I am moving on. I will not look at demons. I am moving on. I will not look at my doubts. I am moving on. Everybody, are you moving on? We're moving on. I said we're moving on. I said we're moving on. I said we're moving on. Champion. Go champion. You're so stable and solid. Oh, you're already climbing. He's already climbing. I didn't even tell him voluntarily. He's taking initiative. He said, activity with initiative. Everybody say, activity with initiative. My, my, my. You're a real champion. I even see the smile of a champion on you. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much. Go on vacation now, champion, champion. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Like he is climbing, you are going to climb. Like he is going to the top, you are going to go to the top in Jesus' name. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. Always remember that the disappointment, that's temporal. Not for a long time. Just a moment. Delay, that's temporal. Not permanent. Distress, that's temporal. Not permanent. Discouragement, that's temporal. Not permanent. Disease, that's temporal. The demons, they're temporal. The doubts, they're temporal. It says, the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are what? Eternal, eternal. Point number three, we're there already. Say, we're there already. Say that again, we're there already. The strength on the ladder, what's our strength? How do we keep on moving on? Psalm 27 verse 1. Psalm 27. We're looking at verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is your strength. I said the Lord is your strength. Children, sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, would you remember? All through your journey, as you are climbing, this ladder of greatness, the Lord will be your strength. Anytime you feel weak, look up to heaven and say, Lord, strengthen me. Anytime there's any need in your life, remember, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Anytime you feel lonely on the journey, just look up and say, friend, my friend Jesus, my savior Jesus, you are the friend that sticks closer than a brother. I need your strength. Strength will come to you immediately. You'll find that Jesus, number one, he'll be your savior. I said he'll be your savior. Number two, he'll be your substitute. He has carried your sin. It will carry your shortcoming. 
He will carry your weakness. He will carry your inability. And he will give you his own ability. He will be your sin bearer. He will carry all your sin, all your shame, all your shortcoming. He will carry everything away in Jesus' name. Give me a good, good amen. amen. I said number one, he is your savior. Number two, he is what? Is your substitute. Number three, is what? Is your sin bearer. Number four, he is your sanctifier. Your sanctifier. Anytime in your heart you feel unworthy, and you feel dirty, and you feel, I don't like the way my heart is, go back to Calvary. Is your sanctifier. After we are saved, the sanctification as well. He sanctifies. He purifies. He makes holy. And he takes the blood, the blood of the covenant. And that is the cleansing blood. That is the purifying blood. That is the sanctifying blood. And that is the blood that makes holy and makes whiter, watches whiter than snow. Do you remember, have you read your Bible in John chapter 17? When Jesus prayed, he said, I've given them your word, and the world has hated them. And then he prayed and he said, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The Lord Jesus, after you are saved, he has an experience for you that is called holiness. Holiness unto the Lord is a watch, watch, and song. And today, the Lord will sanctify you and make you holy and pure in Jesus' name. Number one, he is our savior. Number two, he is our substitute. Number three, he is our sin bearer. Number four, tell me out loud. He is our sanctifier. Number five, he is our strengthener. Strengthener is strengthens us. He strengthens us. Number six, he is our sufficiency. He is sufficient for us whatever we need. Anytime, anywhere on the ladder as we're climbing is sufficient for us. Number seven, he is our shepherd. Everybody say shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me. In the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil. My cup, my cup, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Number one, our Savior. Number two, our substitute. Number three, our sin bearer. Number four, our sanctifier. Number five, our strengthener. Number six, number seven, our shepherd. And because of that shepherd, you'll be strong to climb. Are you ready to climb? Wait, wait, champion. Thank you. Climb, 
Klein, 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 Klein. Praise the Lord, that's all right. You will climb like that. I said you will climb like that. I said you will climb like that. Rise up and start climbing. Rise up and start climbing. You have started already. You have started already. Rise up and start climbing. Don't see yourself in the valley. Don't see yourself in failure. Don't see yourself in mediocrity. Don't see yourself in the pit. Rise up and climb. Talk to the Lord in prayer. 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 Tell the Lord, you are now on the ladder of greatness. You are on the ladder of greatness. Glory, beauty, wonders. Remember the steps on the ladder. Remember the steps on the ladder. And you tell the Lord, today I give myself to you. And today I receive of you into me. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Let him guide you. Let him be your savior. Let him be your substitute. Seek the Lord. Let him be your sin bearer. Take all your sins away. Seek the Lord. Let him sanctify you, purify you, purge you, make you holy. Let him be your sanctifier. He is your savior. The moment you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, he is your savior. All your guilt, he has borne away. All righteousness he gives unto you. From day to day he has become your strength. And that's what will help you to climb on the ladder. Make him your sanctifier. Make him your sanctifier. Make him your sanctifier. Cleansing you from self and sin. But in your heart. Purifying your heart. Making you holy, pure, righteous. Making you whiter than snow. Jesus, your sanctifier. Cleansing you from self and sin. And with all the Spirit's fullness, filling all your heart within, your Savior. That's how you get strength to climb on the ladder. Your substitute. It takes your sins away. It takes your shortcomings away. It takes your weaknesses away. It takes all your failures away. It takes all your discouragements away. He is your substitute, your sin bearer, your sanctifier, your strengthener. It becomes your strength from day to day, from moment to moment. And he is your sufficiency. Everything you need, all the wisdom you need, all the power you need, all the courage you need, all the stamina you need is your sufficiency and is your shepherd he'll watch over you he'll take care of you will help you he'll take you to the top surrender your heart your life your mind your will your personality unto him follow him Follow him for the rest of your life. As you seek the Lord, set the limits. Don't just go to school, set the limits. What do you want to become? Think about it. Write it down. Meditate on that. Think it through. Set the limits.
strengthen your life. Don't allow every little, little sin to put you down. Don't allow every little, little sin to stop your journey. Don't allow every little comment, every little criticism to stop your journey. Keep on moving up. Keep on moving up. Strengthen your life. Be strong. Against all opposition. Against all challenges. Be strong. Study and learn. Study and learn. Study and uh, learn. Make every day a studying day. Every day a learning day. Learn. Learn. And the lessons you learned from yesterday. Don't forget. Keep it up. Keep learning. Study and learn. And remember to shun laziness. Remember to shun laziness. Don't get hurt so easily. Don't get discouraged so easily. Don't get depressed so easily. Don't allow doubts to take over your life so easily. Shun laziness. Move on. Learn from the ants. Be active. Be noble. Be tenacious. Be steadfast. Learn from the ants. Be active. Be noble. Be tenacious. Be steadfast. Learn from the ants. Get into activity with initiative. You don't have me to, there to drive you. Do it yourself. You need somebody to put a whip behind you. Do it yourself. And be active with initiative. Be noble in integrity. Don't steal. Don't spy. Don't go for expo. Just be noble with integrity. Be tenacious and industrious. Tenacious and industrious. And be steadfast with intelligence. Pray, tell the Lord. And keep at it. Don't give up. Keep at it. Don't give up. Keep at it. Don't give up. Until you reach the goal. And even when you reach the goal, stretch the limits. Make it wider. Enlarge your coast. Broaden the territory. Heighten the expectation. Stretch the limits. And keep on shining as light. Keep on shining as light. Keep on shining as light. And remember your strength on the ladder. Jesus says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Never leave you. Never forsake you. Make sure that Jesus is your Savior. 
Make sure that Jesus is your substitute. And make sure that Jesus is your sin bearer. Make sure you remember without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Make sure he is your sanctifier. Make sure he is your strength. And make sure that he is your sufficiency. And make him your shepherd. Make him your shepherd. And if you climb with him, and you climb through his strength, and through his power, one of these days, you'll get to the top of the ladder. Youths on the ladder of greatness. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I have an achiever? Say amen. Can I have the conqueror? Say amen. You know, listen, listen to me. When we're climbing the ladder, when somebody is at the first step of the ladder, there's a kind of amen that he gives. When you get to the second rung and the second step of the ladder, there's another kind of amen that you give. When you get to number three, there's a number three amen. Number four, there's a number four amen. Number five, there's a number five amen. Number six, there's a number six amen. When you get to number seven, when you get to number seven, when you get to number seven, there's a kind of amen that comes to number seven. In Jesus' name we pray. We're there. I said we're there. I am there. I am there. I am not on number one. I am not on number two. I'm not on number three. I'm not on number four. I'm not on number five. I'm not on number six. I am on number seven. Are you there? I said, are you there? In Jesus' name we pray. Now, you stretch up that hand. Stretch up, stretch up, stretch up that hand as high as number seven. As high as number seven. As high as number seven. Are you there? Are you there? Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Don't ever leave there. Stay there, stay there. You are number seven and you will keep there. I said you'll keep staying there. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come today and we put our hands in your hands. I will put our lives in your hand. I will put our heart in your hand. Oh Lord, I pray all the strength we need, all the wisdom we need, all the intelligence we need, all the power we need to get to number seven. Give to everybody in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray without any exception, every boy will climb. Every girl will climb. And all the youths here, all the youths over there will climb in Jesus' name. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will stop us. Disappointments will not stop us. Distress will not stop us. Discouragement will not stop us. Delay or denial will not stop us. Disease will not stop us. Demons will not stop us. Doubts will not stop us. We're not looking at things which are seen. We're looking at things which are not seen. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into every heart and be our strength. Come into every heart and be our savior. Come into every heart and be our substitute. Come into every heart and be our sin bearer. Come into every heart and be our sanctifier. Come into every heart and be our strength. Come into every heart and be our sufficiency. Come into every heart and be our shepherd. And Lord, I pray that you take everybody's son and hold everybody's son and take us to the top. And take us to the top. 
and take us to the top. We have stepped on the ladder until we get to the top. We're not going to stop in Jesus' name. And I pray, oh Lord, the joy of the Lord will be a companion as we're moving on. The strength of the Lord will be a companion as we're moving on. We're up, we'll never go down. We're up, we'll never be defeated. We succeed, we'll not fail again. Confirm it from heaven, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you have answered. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Now, now, now. Now, you know, you know something? When, when somebody is still on the ground, don't clap here, don't clap here. There's a way they clap. And when they get to number one, and then they are getting tired, there's a way they clap. When they get to number two, number three, number four, number six, then when they get to number seven, 